Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In mechanical properties of fluid students, one more type of question we are going to see which will come in examination, board examination is what is capillary? Explain the phenomenon of capillarity and it says its application. Understand this is three marks question students. One marks for capillary. What is capillary? A tube having a very fine bore means hole nearly one millimeter. It is what this symbol is what nearly one millimeter and open at both the end is called as what capillary tube understanding students tube which has what both the end is what open understanding a tube having very fine bore nearly one millimeter and open at both the end is called capillary tube understanding students from this students we are going to explain the what is capillary if one end of capillary tube is deep inside a liquid understanding it has got capillary has both the side end which are open if one end of the capillary tube is deep in liquid which partially are completely weighed the surface of capillary understanding like water in glass like water in glass the level of liquid in the capillary rises understanding students if you are keeping the capillary tube inside the liquid what happens students the level of liquid in the capillary rises on other hand if the capillary tube is deep in a liquid which is does not weigh the surface the like mercury in glass in mercury if you are keeping the capillary tube students what happens the level of the mercury in the capillary drop understanding the if you are keeping if you are dipping the capillary tube inside the mercury so level of my in, when you see the level of mercury which are present in the capillary tube will always less than the level of the mercury the phenomenon of rise and fall of liquid whether it is a mercury or water the phenomenon of rise and fall of the liquid inside a capillary tube when it is dipped in liquid is called capillarity understanding students the, this phenomenon of rising and falling of liquid inside a capillary tube when it is deep inside the liquid is called capillarity understanding students now we are going to see some applications students where we, we can see this phenomenon we can see all the because of that students all rises of the wink of the lamp understanding if this phenomenon will not happen the lamp will not go for a long time clothes ranks suck the water if you are keeping the clothes inside the water it will shock the water the blotting paper observe the ink because of the capillary action only students the paper is going to be weight water rises of the surfaces in the rocks because of the capillarity shape and water rises up to the topmost level in a tree also students because of the capillarity so these are the applications students that is why it is very important now students this way you have to write in examination now you can explain the capillarity like example students when a capillary tube is partially immersed in a waiting liquid there is a capillary rise and liquid meniscus inside the tube is what concave meniscus understanding when the liquid is rising that means it should have what concave meniscus understanding when it is rising now this rising students you can explain with the help of the pressure let we are going to see the pressures students here we have considered four points pressure a pressure b pressure c pressure at point d b be the pressure at the points a b c and d respectively now here we are taking we are going to consider the pressure at point a at point b at point c at point d understanding students the pressure on the concave side of meniscus is always greater understanding the here will be the pressure will be always greater students if liquid is what forming the concave meniscus understanding the pressure on the concave side of meniscus is always greater than the pressure of convex side the pressure a is always greater than pressure b understanding students so to equalize the pressure students understanding pressure at d is what greater than pressure at b when you are comparing the pressure here and here the pressure is what greater to equalize the pressure students pressure at a and pressure d this liquid will rises understanding why the liquid will rises because of to equalize the pressure so pressure understanding students so this way we are going to explain the why it is rising why the liquid is rising pressure on the concave side of meniscus p a becomes greater understanding that means pb pressure at b is equals to pressure at d understanding so, so this way it will like capillary rise why it is rising if you want to find out the height how much it will rise the height h is equals to it depends upon the surface tension and theta the angle of contact so you have to students write h equals to 2t surface tension twice of surface tension into cos theta upon rho r rho g gravity understanding these are the constant and r is nothing but students it, it is the it is nothing but radius understanding students 
of the bowl. So two t cos theta r rho g. Understanding students, rho is nothing but density of the liquid, and g is gravity. So h, if you want to find out the how much it will rise, so this is the formula two t cos theta r rho g. Understanding students, this is very important students for the examination point of view also. You can solve the numerical problem. Now students, for a non-weighting liquid, students now this is mercury. You can consider it is what mercury. What happens students? There is a capillarity, capillary depression. There is a depression. Now see the here, students see the level from the initial level. Now the, in, inside the liquid, now see the level is what decreasing. Depression in the liquid meniscus in the capillary tube is what. When you see the shape of the meniscus, it is also what convex. The pressure at B, pressure at B is greater than the pressure at A. Understanding students, pressure at B is greater than the pressure at A. Understanding students, the hydrostatic pressure at B and D are not equal. B and D is what not equal. To equalize now students, to equalize the pressure, what happens? Hence the liquid flow from B to D. The level of the liquid is capillary falls. Understanding why it is falling to equalize the pressure. So it will fall down. So here students, if you want to find out the height of how much it has been falls, so h equals to two t cos theta rho r rho g, where r is the radius of the this capillary. Understanding students, rho is the density of the mercury and g is the gravity. So t you know surface tension. If you know all this, you can find out the how much h. So h equals to two t cos theta r rho g. This way you can calculate the rise and fall in the capillary tube students you can also find quantitatively you can calculate the value of height so these are very important students they are asking in board examination it's very important students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you